that window and then lighter amounts after that. We'll talk more about that every six day outlook, which takes us through the weekend, coming up in about 13 minutes or so. But for now, that's your news and weather together. All right, Vince, thank you. You want to start an argument in any bar, coffee shop, or barber shop? Ask this question Should you have to live where you work? Right now, as we all know, it's a requirement for City of Milwaukee employees. Governor Scott Walker wants to change that. That idea isn't sitting well with Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett. He says, and he's being blunt now, it's a kick in the teeth. Fox 6's Mike Lowe reports. Our focus is simple. Governor Scott Walker project. trumpeted several proposals in his budget, from taxes I want to, cut taxes to over. transportation. A good transportation system is good for jobs. But he left something out. He didn't mention a word about the residency because he can't defend it. The governor proposes lifting Milwaukee's 80 year old residency rule, requiring city employees to live within city limits. This has nothing to do with shared revenue. This has nothing to do with tax relief. There should be a special section in the budget that's called political payback favors. Political payback? I think not. Firefighters Union President Dave Sager has long advocated repealing the residency requirement. In fact, cities comparable to ours, Minneapolis, Cleveland, Columbus, St. Louis, don't have residency restrictions. But Mayor Barrett uses the example of Minneapolis, which lifted its residency requirement more than a decade ago and subsequently saw more than 40% of its city workforce move out. Barrett worries about a similar exodus in Milwaukee. We are trying to get our head above water because of the foreclosure crisis and the, the depressed property values we have seen in the city because of the foreclosure crisis. To have the governor of the state of Wisconsin come in with this, a second kick in the teeth, is simply wrong. To put it bluntly, the reality of the situation is that throughout the Midwest, throughout the country, no one has this anymore. It's antiquated. And Sager says he doesn't believe lifting the rule will cause workers to move out of the city. He says firefighters essentially the city at the firehouses while they're on duty. Barrett argues there's no reason to lift the rule because the fire and police departments are flooded with applications as it is, which he says is proof people still want to work and live in Milwaukee. Back to you. All right, Mike, thank you. Milwaukee Bucks have not been able to beat opponents lately, but they beat this afternoon's NBA trade deadline. They didn't send Brandon Jennings or Monte Ellis out of town. Pip will tell you who they brought in to help the team make their best.